Hello everybody and welcome to the Seven Deadly Sins Season 2 episode... Yeah? 18. I think it is 18, yeah. It's 19, I just checked. It's 19? <laughs> it's 19, oh. episode 19. Mate, we've not even been doing this for five months. No, don't, don't. It makes me feel That's old. That's nearly half a year. Dude, we're what gonna be... What the hell? We're old. Good lord. We're... Actually, talking about feeling old. We were, today I was listening to like music that was like came out from my birth year, and my god, do I feel old! Like, Jesus, dude, you remember, I'm not even that old. Do you I'm remember, older than you, but like you're you're like um, two months older than me. Yeah, but still, it's only slightly older than me. Mm. I'm not a little babby. Yeah. So it's like, like oh, mad. Anyway. Uh, yeah. The enough ep- about music. Enough about age. Episode yeah. begins where we we let we uh, left off. Yeah. Escanor, Quick recap as always. Escanor, yeah. Escanor took out the uh, the two commandments, but he's like yeah. incapped and goes just like, "Why did you do that?" Yeah. He basically did a um, Deku on us. Dude, just because you've started watching My Hero Academia <laughs> doesn't mean you could like fill everything with references. Yes, I can. Yes, I <laughs> no, can. No, you can't. Uh, definitely can. Dude, it's fine. It's fine. I'd like to say though, freaking droll. He's freaking massive. Like but we've never giant. seen him with like, you know, we've never seen him like in perspective, like really. But until this episode, yeah, he's I agree. Huge. I was like, I was not expecting it. I thought he was like normal size, yes, or, or like a bit bigger, like a kind of machamp size, not freaking like tower size. Yeah. Well, <laughs> being a tower size doesn't save his arms. Let's just say that. Nah, nah. His arms are. They go. Yeah, like, so basically, Meliodas is like, this is my chance to attack. And he yeah, just. This was my plan, but I didn't tell anyone because you would have seen with your eye or whatever. Yeah. So I just kind of hoped that they would do it. And they did. So, yeah. yeah. This is my plan. Lol, get wrecked. So now Meliodas was like, I'm going to kill you both because I'm, yeah. I'm not an honorable fighter. No. He just. He took the opportunity. And let's just say, he's a freaking. Monster. He's OP. He's OP. Yeah, he is OP. Just, just completely OP. Yeah. And it was awesome to watch. But then, uh, Drell's like, "So you want to fight us, a?" Eh? So that he like traps like everyone in like a mm. rock. Yeah. But, but me- conveniently, mysterious mage can use teleportation magic. Yeah. Before that, though, Meliodas is like, he Drell's like, "I will kill them if you f- if you try and fight me." And he's like, "Well, I'll just kill you before you do that." Yeah. And then he chops off his arms, doesn't he? Yeah, he chops off his other arms. Yeah. So now he's got no arms, and then yeah, no arms. And now. then Glockzinia, Glockzinia helps Droll with her healing drop. Droplet. But then Meliodas yeah. is gonna fight her as well, or yeah. him, him, him. It's a him. Him. We look this up. Yeah, him. Meliodas freaking kicks him square in the freaking chest, or like punches him. Yeah. And like you can see like the mark, and That's, it's just, oh, like... it's so good. This was a good like fighting episode. Oh yeah, it was good. Action wise, like, this was yeah. maybe the best one they've done. Yeah, it was done so well. But uh, yeah, uh, then the hostages inside the rock, the the mysterious dude, Gil Frost. I think we looked up. We said his Gil name. Gil Frost. Was. Yep. They all teleport back. It's back to the castle. Mm. Back in Leonis, miles away from anything. Yeah. Then, but they can still feel the fighting. Yeah, and they've got like a crystal orb they can they can watch it. They on. can watch. So yeah. then Meliod- Meliodas goes full on demon mode. I, I notice how we're going to do this very no, well. Wow. I mean, I mean, he doesn't go full demon mode straight away. He does like the kind of semi like oh, eye just, one, just the mark. Yeah. Yeah. The but, the demon one comes later. Yeah, but, we're going very fast because it was a very fast paced episode with yeah, not not like, a lot of, not a lot of like plot development and stuff we can actually nah, talk about. It was just awesome fights. It was it was a lot of oh my god, did you just see that? Yeah, like they're freaking. They I I wrote down they were stalling him out because they kept like healing and stuff. So it was basically just like a stall tactic. Oh dude, I put that too. I put uh, heal spamming. I hate this already. Yeah, they were just. Ugh. It was. You, you know in you know in in Pokemon uh, right? What? Yeah. You know Pokemon when you're fighting like the Elite Four and you get them to like the red in one hit, but then they just keep using hyper potions over and over again. So you, <laughs> it's like that. That's what they were doing. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> but uh, so Meliodas is. But nice. I, it was into what they were saying. What were they saying? Talking about. Oh. Uh, well, actually, well, before they, the lot that got teleported away are chatting about if they can actually trust Meliodas and like, yeah, kind of, he he keeps calling 
or um, Droll and Gloxinia keep calling him, like, you turned your back on us, comrade. Yeah, yeah, and stuff. stuff. Yeah. Everyone's like, hang on, comrade. They all kind of figure out he's a demon. They figure out that he was a demon, or at least was a demon or whatever. Yeah, good old Ban's like, eh, it's just weird, he's the captain. He's, he's still captain, though, you know. It's like, oh, good old Ban, and King's like, what's wrong with all of you? Yeah, basically, King just, he's not happy. Yeah. I do, I do like King to go through. He's just like, I still haven't forgiven you. It's like, oh, <laughs> okay, way to have your priorities straight. You know, there's yeah. literally, you know, but then. I mean, uh, to be fair, like his, I think his anger is justified. It's just, it's justified, but stick it to the side for the sake of the greater good. You know. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's like a, he's the fairy king, so he doesn't care. He's like, yeah. Yeah, but then while Meliodas is about to win against. Two of them. The two commandments. A new challenger approaches. And by a new challenger, you mean the the rest of the them. The rest of the commandments, yeah. And or, uh, well, at least nine out of ten. Yeah, because Meliskula, who is survived, but she got, like, burnt up, so she's not hot anymore. Nah. She's, like, literally just, like, a silhouette. Mm. So it's all and, of them except... And, also it, it, and Galand is definitely dead. Galand is dead, yeah. Or he's a stone. He stung. is dead, yeah. So he's out, I guess. <laughs> yeah, which, which makes me nervous because there's only nine. It's it's setting it up for a betrayal. It's so one of the good guys is gonna go evil. Yeah, I don't know. They they've set it up perfectly. You can't have nine commandments that don't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or like someone we don't know yet, or like they, we yeah, do know but they haven't shown up yet. We'll just suddenly join the commandments. Yeah, they've set it up to be Gotha, but that just seems too obvious. Yeah, I don't think it will be Gotha. No. Or like if, yeah, I think the in the weirdest way, I think the closest one might be Meliodas. Just because he's a demon. Just because he is actually a demon and was one of them, I guess. Dude, that was loud. That was my sister shutting her door. Dude, dude. but um, get her yeah. in the video. Yeah. No. But um, <laughs> and just yeah, they they're chatting about the Ten Commandments. Are basically, just uh, let's just say. He was OP before, but now they're all together, he isn't so OP. Well, he's still OP, but I like the first thing he does is get his arm cut off. Mm. Like, but he, because he goes to slash his his younger brother. We now know, yeah, his younger brother. Um, and he literally just goes like, "Yep, yeah, nope, you have no arm now." Yeah, it's like, oh, <laughs> it's like, oh, um, so, uh, so now what? So they're basically <laughs> the nine commandments take it in turns to just. Batter, Eat on him. just yeah. batter poor Meliodas, and every, mm. of course all the friends are still watching on the crystal ball. Yeah, and um, uh, the, the, I like the part where he he's got like both his arms broken, but he still manages to get a hit in by gripping the sword in his teeth. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Freaking slices the guy's neck, just like yeah. But he's fine, obviously. <laughs> oh yeah, obviously, because he he like kind of like he like reattaches human. his head. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It was the mage yeah. guy, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. See, we remember some of the Ten Commandments names, just not all of them. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember mage guy, the naked girl. Mm. Uh, like, Who has a very interesting power. Yeah. Like, I, I she gets more powerful the more hits she gets in. Yeah, she's basically just a fighting game player. Yeah. As the combo goes up, the more damage she does. Dude, you know what, who she is? She's that guy that we saw playing Blaze Blue at Comic-Con. <laughs> like the yeah. pro guy, yeah. I don't. Even, he must have been some sort of pro. He was like, definitely he was, a pro. He wouldn't he have been a, too good. He wouldn't have been allowed to stay on the whole time because he was still there when we walked by earlier. Oh really? Yeah, he uh, must have been there. For the thing. Anyway, mm. Comic Con was good. Moving on with the episode, daughter, daughter, you know. <laughs> but then uh, Meliodas Dra- is like Dreyfus. Yeah, Meliodas is like Dreyfus. Come He's on. He's talking to his heart. Yeah. He's like, Come on, dude. And... Oh, you, you've some tears, you know. It's like he sheds a tear and then like slashes him. Says, mm. yeah, but he says like Meliodas, like I can't or something, yeah. and then and then light attack. <laughs> yeah, and then Meliodas is like, it was a bruise, revenge counter, yeah. bitch. This is how we won season one. Yeah, revenge counter, and then it just gets caught. By, it just gets caught by that guy. That guy, and he's just like, it's just like, uh, it's like oh. So he stopped a full revenge counter and then freaking crushed his chest with a foot. Yeah, and th- <laughs> and that's where the episode ends. It's like no, no mm-hmm. you, you can't end it there. Yeah, it's it's like it's basically them subtly reminding this 
uh, with that, reminding us that yes, Meliodas is OP, but he's not like yeah, yeah. That, the number I, one I really yet. like this because after I've been saying for a few weeks, I'm like, man, the Ten Commandments don't feel threatening anymore. Oh God, do they feel threatening? Now? It's like now with this episode, they're like, hey, don't be silly. Yeah. Don't be silly now. It's night. It's <laughs> night time as well. No Escanor plot convenience is going to save you. Yeah. So I'm very. Um, I can't wait to see how they. Yeah. Like, fix I, this. I don't think Meliodas is going to die, but someone has to die before the end of the season, right? One of the good guys has to die. Yeah. It's going to be. Th- it's going to be Hendrickson. No, I. Th- I, th- I think the person that will die is um, Gil Thunder. Oh no. <laughs> I think he will die. <laughs> Not Gil Thunder. Like, he'll he'll like run in front of him and take a hit and die. Oh no! Or something. No. Not Gil I think that will happen. No. I also like how Grimoire is still a baby. Like, what's up? Yeah, with he's that? still a baby. Oh no, he's a kid. Has he been like growing? I don't is he, know. Is he basically like Groot? Like is child. he Groot? He's Grooting us. Yeah, he was a big one, then a little one, then a medium one. <laughs> He is Groot, confirmed. Someone like stick Grimoire's head on Groot. <laughs> That's um stupid. But anyway, sure. yeah, that was that was this week's episode. <laughs> that was this week's episode. It was awesome. It was very action packed. We mm. we are actually we're close. To, well, this was nineteen. We got five episodes left. Yeah. We're, we're rounding down. An hour and a, just over an hour and a half. Dude, it's probably close to two hours. Yeah. Anyway, well, episode's like twenty odd minutes. So. It's gonna be good. I don't think any of the seven deadly sins will die. No. Nah. Hopefully, Merlin gets a body back though. Yeah. At some point, I kind of forgot she existed. <laughs> yeah, she hasn't existed in a couple of episodes. So. Yeah. But yeah. I wonder yeah. how they how they're gonna do that. <laughs> I don't know. Also, I don't know. it's funny just looking at things. I forgot Arthur had that thing on his head. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. They got so many characters at this point. Oh, yeah. There's, like, 15. There's, like, a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see you next week. Yeah, see you next week, guys.